Hi, you might have noticed a lot of command line applications written in Rust being blazingly fast and featuring fearless concurrency, or barely written in Go. This confusion can make you think that Rust is like Go, with the garbage collection turned off, but it is not exactly true. Golang is famous for its safety and great concurrency support. All you need is to use the Go keyword and it is concurrent. Go feels like Python, but compiled and with C vibe. RAS, on the other hand, is famous only for its safety. Well, and type system also, but this is just syntax, right? By the way, Go and RAS development process is roughly equivalent. Check this out. Notice the cargo tool. It creates the target directory, which is, you know, pretty chunky. Over time, it becomes even more thick than infamous node modules. Wanna try Rust? Prepare your disk space, you're gonna need that. There are no such problems with Go, but it is not a big surprise. Google created Go, along with the creator of Unix himself, Ken Thompson. Who created Rust? Some Mozilla employee named Graydon Hoare started Rust as his personal project. Did you know that Rust uses LLVM compiler toolchain? It means the main compilation process is written in… guess what? C++ Go uses its own compiler toolchain, GC. Unlike fake self-hosting in Rust, Go is truly self-hosted. It is hard to write Rust, so instead of making tools people demand, beginner Rustations, the Rust folks, imagine themselves being Leonard Pottering and start rewriting already existing commands, as if someone asked for it. They rewrote even cat and ls to make them look fancier, but if I want colorful output, I just pipe ls to look at with this stick. Go is easier to code in. Thanks to this, developers created tons of useful software like Docker, Kubernetes, Hugo, Micro the Text Editor, and more. Linus Torvalds doesn't recognize C++ as a system language, because it is too abstract, but he accepts Rust, so it is slowly getting into the kernel. While Go philosophy is engineering-oriented, Rust is more community-oriented. They even have code of conduct and community moderation team. They them are obsessed with pronouns. This results in enormous amount of gay people, non-binary person, transgender furious and others in the community. Just saying. And I've actually seen projects that took the whole political correctness so far that the, the project no longer is about the technology. To sum up, both Rust and Go are widely used for creating blazingly fast command line applications, but Rust is more a system language, when Go is best suitable for networking and stuff like that. Rust is basically C++ if it were Husky, and Go is C++ if it were Python. But the real question is, should Rust replace C++? Thanks for watching, show this video to your Rust friend and don't be like those 93.7% people who couldn't find the subscribe button. See you later and bye!